So we slow down the rate. Do not copy the rate. Seven, uh, range 73 meters, 72 meters. We have a good visual. The target is uh, shifted to the left a little bit by about one degree. We copy. Six. The uh, Progress 55 that is uh, on approach uh, for docking to the station will remain linked up to the pier's docking compartment until July 22nd when it is scheduled to depart. The other Progress uh, that resides at the International Space Station, the ISS Progress 53 spacecraft, is uh, mated to the aft end of the Zvezda service module. It uh, will undock on April 23rd for a two-day back-away free flight and then a reapproach for a redocking to the aft end of uh, Zvezda on April 25th to go. test out uh, some upgraded software Ready. modifications made to the CORE's rendezvous system on that vehicle. At 30 minutes in the automatic mode, 30 meters uh, at automatic mode, uh, send the command to allow, okay, per you go. Now just 50 meters away, we'll be standing by momentarily for the retraction of the CORE's automated rendezvous antenna. Visually, the range matches the measured range. We copy. Four. Range 40. 42. Expect the indicator for the SSVP status. We copy. For display of 44, we have the information. Information on the readiness. Spectacular view over the Pacific Ocean of the progress as it closes in for its link up. The uh, CORE's automated rendezvous antenna has retracted as planned. Just before contact and capture, the International Space Station will be commanded to what is called free drift, the disabling of any uh, thruster activity uh, so that uh, we do not perturbate uh, the station's orientation uh, during the time that the uh, Progress's docking probe will slip into the docking port uh, for the initial contact. Forty-five meters range and uh, point fourteen for the rate approaching. The target is uh, about one degree shifted to the left and to from the center. Everything else else is nominal. The approach indicator is nominal. The the uh, visual conditions are excellent. The lighting is great. We can see everything. Okay, we copy. We can see the vehicle very well. The uh, diamond-shaped object uh, near the crosshairs on this engineering view from the Progress's TV camera is the docking target to which uh, the automated uh, rendezvous program uh, does align uh, this uh, crosshaired uh, view with the docking target itself. Uh, that ensures uh, the precise alignment of the docking probe uh, with the pier's docking port itself. Thirty meters range and point fourteen rate. We copy. We confirm our go to continue work and send the command to work.
Everything uh, going very smoothly with this automated approach by the Progress 55, now just 22 meters away from the pier's docking port. Please confirm, confirm sending the Uvod Razrishon command. Yes, so we confirm we have two LEDs. We visually confirm closing the two antennas, and we see the roll visually as well. Okay, the roll goes away. Everything is nominal. The target is in the center. Of the Flying from southwest to northeast over the uh, eastern Pacific in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator. The International Space Station and Progress uh, will be approaching uh, the west coast of South America shortly, just uh, 15 meters uh, separating the Progress from its destination. The depot in the cross channel activation and the cross channel. The cross hairs is probably less than one fourth of a degree from the electronic cross hairs. 12 meters uh, um, rate. Point thirteen. Everything is nominal. Nine ten meters. Rate point fourteen. Roll selected. Progress now inside uh, ten meters. Array. As we stand by for contact and capture of the International Space Station. Seven meters. Depot. We have a, a rate at 0.17 meters. Display 44 is nominal. All other indicators match the nominal automatic mode. Good alignment, good angles, just six meters away. Short burn of the depot in the cross channel for min the minus one axis. We visually confirm that the vehicle is very, very close. We can see it very well. We copy. The target is nominal. The display is nominal. A range is 5 meters, a rate 0.13 visually. The conditions uh, match the nominal automatic final approach. We copy. On display 44, a range is 3 meters. We are waiting for the mechanic uh, for the contact. Contact confirmed. Docking confirmed. At 4:14 p.m. Central Time. We copy. As the progress of the International Space Station flew 260 statute miles over the eastern Pacific, just off the west coast of Peru. Closure. The indicator, the indicator mode has been activated. A silky smooth six-hour venture from the launch pad of the Baikonur Cosmodrome to the International Space Station, an automated uh, approach in flawless fashion for the ISS Progress 55 cargo ship delivering almost three tons of food, fuel, and supplies for the Expedition 39 crew. Visually, we monitor the hooks, and we see the gap decreasing in size. We copy. It is possible that we will have calm dropouts. If we do not respond, then expect us to have... And uh, with everything else uh, involved in uh, the Progress's uh, flight to the International Space Station, uh, the hooks uh, are reported to be driving uh, to form a hard mate uh, between the Progress and the Piers docking compartment. Once again, uh, once hooks are closed, uh, the crew uh, will take a breather and uh, will move into uh, a period of leak checks tomorrow morning after they wake up uh, with the opening of the hatch to the progress expected about 5 a.m. Central Time on Thursday. 
There's uh, your configuration of the International Space Station right now, two Soyuz vehicles uh, for the six crew members on board as their return craft, and two Progress resupply vehicles, a uh, fifth resupply uh, ship, uh, Another resupply ship and a fifth vehicle uh, will be arriving just one week from today at the International Space Station, that being the SpaceX Dragon cargo ship that is scheduled to be launched atop a Falcon 9 rocket from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station next Monday afternoon. Hello, guys. Can you hear me? Good evening. Yes? Hello? Yeah. We can hear you loud and clear. Okay, well, congratulations. Congratulations to your entire great team, Oleg, uh, Mr. Ostapin, Mr. Laputa also wish to join me in the in my congratulations uh, to you on this successful docking. This is a great present for the Cosmonautics Day. Okay, thank you very much for your nice words. Thank you so much for participating. It's been great. Everything went very smoothly. Yes, Misha, we have been watching, and it doesn't happen very often when we have such a smooth docking. Yes, it's true. Everything went great. Okay, well, wait until tomorrow, until 1500, when we can open the hatches. So, right now, you guys can uh, treat yourself to some candy and go to bed. Sure. We are not teenagers. We know how to wait. I'm sure we can wait just fine until tomorrow. Okay, well, again, huge thank you and congratulations for the excellent work. And uh, we'll talk to you next time. Thank you for your nice words. Congratulations to everyone because it was a joint activity. So it's great to see that our joint effort has been so successful. Thank you. SS crew, this is Mission Control Moscow calling on Space to Ground 1. Go ahead. Okay, the telemetry confirms that hard latching is completed. You have our go to perform um, work per page 27. The Toro mode deactivation. Okay, we copy and we will continue reporting to you. Uh, so we turn off the control.
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, just to recap, uh, a picture-perfect uh, day for the ISS Progress 55 resupply vehicle, the unpiloted cargo craft that launched uh, at 10.26 a.m. Central Time, 9.26 p.m. at the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Uh, a flawless ascent to orbit and uh, a textbook uh, rendezvous executed automatically by the Progress's computers. All of the rendezvous burns were on the money, on target, resulting in a docking that occurred just a few minutes ago at 4.14 p.m. Central Time as the Progress and the International Space Station uh, flew 260 statute miles over the eastern Pacific just west of Peru. Uh, we now have confirmation that the hooks are closed to form a hard mate between the two vehicles. The crew on board uh, the station, particularly uh, the Russian cosmonauts Mikhail Tiran, Alexander Skvortsov, and Oleg Artemiev, received congratulations uh, from the head of uh, the Russian Federal Space Agency, Oleg Astampenko, and uh, the head of RSC Energia, uh, which is in charge of mission operations, uh, that being Vitaly Lapota, uh, offering congratulations on the uh, successful uh, launch, rendezvous, and docking of the Progress to the Piers Docking Compartment uh, just three days before the celebration of Cosmonautics Day, uh, the uh, very, very important uh, holiday that is celebrated in Russia to commemorate the launch of Yuri Gagarin on April 12, 1961, uh, who became the first human to fly in space, launching from the same launch pad that the Progress 55 began its journey from just uh, six hours ago. Cosmonautics Day this year marking the 53rd anniversary of Yuri Gagarin's historic flight. So with that, uh, we will wrap up our coverage with a couple of programming notes. Uh, tomorrow morning at 7.15 a.m. Central Time, 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, we will have an uh, in-flight event uh, for the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency that will involve uh, Koichi Wakata, the first Japanese commander of the International uh, Space Station, uh, who has uh, just a few weeks left on orbit. He and... Uh, NASA flight engineer Steve Swanson and Russian cosmonaut Mikhail Turin, who Wakata launched with back on uh, November 7th of last year, they will receive a, a congratulatory call from the Japanese uh, Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, along with uh, other officials and uh, U.S. Ambassador to Japan, Caroline Kennedy. Uh, they will be uh, gathered at the Japanese Prime Minister's residence in Tokyo uh, to provide a, a congratulatory call and a question and answer session with the crew about life and research on board the orbital laboratory. That uh, in-flight event, uh, again, at 7.15 uh, a.m. Central Time tomorrow, 8.15 a.m. Eastern Time. And that will set the stage for our Space Station live broadcast at its uh, normal time of 10 a.m. Central Time, 11 a.m. Eastern Time, uh, to recap all of the activities on board the International Space Station for the Expedition 39 crew. But uh, for the moment, uh, jubilation on board the station with a flawless arrival of a new resupply ship, the Progress 55, docking just a few minutes ago to deliver almost three tons of supplies for that crew. Until tomorrow, we wish you a good evening. This is Mission Control Houston.